So welcome to this video guys. In this video we are going to begin a new playlist on the fundamentals of English grammar. So these videos are targeted at people who want to strengthen their hold over this language and want to build a very strong base on which you can learn more advanced concepts like subject verb agreement, pronoun based errors, modifiers, idioms and so many other things. So this playlist is going to focus on the basics of English grammar. For example, the sentence, adjectives, nouns, pronouns, verbs, and so many other basic things that you must know if you want to be strong in your English skills. So this is the first video and in this video we are going to discuss what is a sentence. And before we get started, don't forget to visit us and give your valuable suggestions and feedback at support at perfectscores.org. So let's get started with this video. So what exactly is a sentence? The sentence is the basic unit of the English language. It's the unit in which you write paragraphs and then bigger passages. So the definition of a sentence is that it's a group of words that makes complete sense. So that is what the definition of a sentence says. Now let's take a few examples. I'm going to give a few examples that are going to vary a lot. You will see really small sentences and the really big ones. Let's look at the first example. Now this is an example of a sentence that's really short. It is a group of words and it's making complete sense. Now you will come across uh, some groups of words that make sense but they make incomplete sense. Those groups of words are not known as sentences. Only if the group of words makes complete sense, does not leave anything unanswered, only in that case it will be called a sentence. For example, I went home. The sentence can also be a simple I went. Even this gives you complete sense. But then you can have some longer sentences also. For example, I went home for a vacation. Now this is a bigger group of words that has more number of words and it is still making complete sense. That means each of them is a complete sentence. Now let's uh, look at examples in which you may think that it's a group of words that make sense but those group of words don't make complete sense. Let me give you some examples for that. All right, let's look at the first sentence over here. After going back to school. Now, you are able to make some sense that you're talking about someone who's going back to school, but you don't know who that person is. So there is a question that is left unanswered. That means it is not making complete sense, so it is not a sentence. Similarly, look at the second example, every day at work. Okay, fine. So we understand we're talking about work and every day at work. But what are we talking about? Whom are we talking about? We don't know all those questions. So we don't know what is the topic. Whom are we talking about? So this is also making incomplete sense. And that is why it is not a sentence. Now look at the next example. My best friend Ali. Now this tells us the person whom we are talking about, but nothing else. What is Ali doing? We don't know. So it's making incomplete sense and that is why this is also not a sentence. So you see the number of words has nothing to do with complete versus incomplete sense. A sentence can actually also be just two words small. For example, I went. It can have 10 words. It can even have 20 words. So number of words has nothing to do with it. It's only the amount of sense that a sentence makes. Now let's have a look at the different kinds of sentences that are there. Now under English grammar, you can classify sentences into four major categories. So these are the four major kinds of sentences that you come across in everyday life. Let's start with the first one, the easiest one. Declarative or assertive sentences. These ones are those that are basic simple statements. For example, I went to school. 
this is telling you it is stating something it is asserting something or declaring something so these kind of sentences are known as declarative or assertive the next one interrogative now as the name suggests interrogation refers to questioning so all the sentences that ask a question are known as interrogative sentences for example how are you so any sentence that has a question mark at the end of it is known as an interrogative sentence so you see it's so easy to remember the difference declarative or assertive are simple statements interrogative ones are questions so let me write it down over here this one is a simple statement these ones are questions coming to the third kind of sentence imperative sentences now imperative as the name suggests they are talking about commands and requests so sometimes in these sentences the name of the person is not given for example a sentence keep quiet if a teacher says this in the class it means that she is referring to all the students in the class so she need not say you need to keep quiet or someone needs to keep quiet it's a general statement but with a commanding tone so this is an imperative sentence or for example get me some water this statement or the sentence is also having a command or for example please go away this is also an imperative statement because this contains a request so commands or strong requests are used as imperative sentences so that is what an imperative sentence is and the fourth kind which is exclamatory sentence now in the exclamatory sentences the sentences end with an exclamation mark which is when something weird or surprising or amazing or alarming happens something totally out of the blue so these ones are basically related with feelings for example what a great shot so you're exclaiming with a lot of feeling that's why you put an exclamation mark or how cold is this night so you're trying to say that the night is really cold so you put an exclamation mark it's showing your feelings or for example this is amazing or i was surprised so any kind of sentence that is said or written with a lot of feeling is known as an exclamatory sentence and it always ends with an exclamation mark so i hope it was very clear what are sentences you just need to remember that sentences are groups of words that make complete sense you should not be left with questions in your mind and there are four kinds of sentences declarative or assertive ones which are simple statements interrogative which are questions imperative which are commands requests orders and exclamatory which are written or spoken with a lot of feeling now there are many different components of a simple sentence in fact in any of these sentences if you take there will be some basic components which is something that we are going to discuss in the next video so by knowing those components you'll be able to frame lots of sentences on your own but i do hope that this video this introductory video for sentences was helpful and what you can do is to do some practice you can try making up sentences for each of these different kinds of sentences and i'm sure you'll be able to go ahead and practice more grammar as we go through the different videos also try to read a lot you can read newspapers magazines or any other articles or journals and try to find out and try to identify these four different kinds of sentences so i hope all of this was useful thank you so much for watching this video